Here's the story about a guy called Craigie, and he's here in the middle of the screen, and then the other people are on the screen around him, and they've all grown up to have rather tragic lives. <laughs> Although, although some of them, I think, are quite okay. <laughs> For legal reasons, I better say that. Do you know what? I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Uh, one, I don't have any material. And the other <laughs> is that I was just talking to someone who, Renee, will do... I... 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 I was just talking to someone who remain nameless, Michael Nadis, the producer. <laughs> oh, well, that's not remaining nameless then, is it? <laughs> and I was talking to him, and I inadvertently said, I was talking about the Brady Bunch, and I said, oh, no, I was talking about the Partridge family, and I inadvertently said, Florence Henderson. And he said, no, Florence Henderson was on the Brady Bunch. It was Shirley Jones who was on the Partridge family. And I was like, oh, you're great. <laughs> before the show starts. That's attack my confidence. He's always nitpicking away at me, you know what I mean? Nitpicking, nitpicking, nitpicking. And I'll tell you, it's kind of like if you're on the Twitter and you don't put a comma in your Twitter and then like 15 people are like, you didn't put a comma in your Twitter. Ah. I'm like, shut up, jerks. What am I, like 14 years old tonight? To step up, I guess. <laughs> and we're a bit worried tonight. I'm filling for time. You can probably tell because the robot Jeff has been sickly all day. I don't know if he's going to be able to talk tonight. He seems to have some kind of frog in his throat. <laughs> are you all right tonight? No. Is he going to? Are you going to work now, Jeff? No. See. <laughs> he sums. He has some type of. <laughs> he has some type of robot laryngitis. <laughs> You strike me as a man who cuddles. Sick as he may be, he's still deadly accurate. <laughs> so he's, there's something wrong with him. I, it's, it's robot laryngitis or something. Uh, or It's better than the robot herpes he had last week. <laughs> Look out. And we had to. We'll see you in a minute, everybody. We'll see you in a minute. The Lake Lake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by The Backup Plan. In theaters tomorrow, a comedy about first dates and due dates. I just feel warm and part of your gang now. <laughs> sometimes, I don't know if it's just me, sometimes I think the studio audience is faking it. <laughs> you know, they're not quite as excited as they sound. And then I think, 
to myself, where have I come across a situation like this before in my life? <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> but not today. You know why? Because it's a great day for America, everybody. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a great... I'll tell you why. I tell you why, because the Project Runway uh, season finale is uh, was on earlier tonight. Uh, <laughs> I watched it. It was very exciting. It, it came down to a choice between three different dresses. Then after I picked one, I uh, <laughs> watched the show. <laughs> Do you know that three bisexual men are suing a gay softball league? I know. <laughs> Apparently... <laughs> The league told them that they couldn't play because, and this is true, they're not gay enough. <laughs> How can I prove to you I'm gay enough? <laughs> you know what? I think if you're a man and you're suing over not being able to play softball in a league, you're gay enough. <laughs> Three bisexual men suing a softball league. Stick to playing music, Jonas Brothers. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. Jonas Brothers don't play softball? <laughs> no. Happy birthday today to uh, Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson is 73 today. And also, it's Earth Day today. Yeah. Uh, should I clap? Should I not clap? No. I'm frightened. You'd be right to be frightened as well. I may punish you in the form of some kind of Victorian school teacher. <laughs> Sorry, that's a different thing I do at night. <laughs> no, Planet Earth, Jack Nicholson. Uh, is, you know, it's, uh, they're very different, of course. One is a giant object ravaged by years of abuse and we're running out of time to save it. And the other one's Earth. <laughs> <laughs> you just ticked something there. Was that like, oh, that, well, that joke, that worked, okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna do it again tomorrow, then? Is how it is? <laughs> Next Earth Day, we'll do it again. <laughs> Anyway, the, uh, the, the, the movie Avatar is out on DVD today. Fantastic. Now, DVDs usually come out on Tuesdays, but James Cameron wanted it to be released on Earth Day because nothing says save the planet like millions of plastic DVD cases. <laughs> anyway, it's Earth Day. Congratulations, Earth. We've made it through another one. This is the 40th... <laughs> 40th Earth Day, which is bad news for you if you're Earth, because it all goes downhill in your 40s. Trust me. Once, once you get in your 40s, your, your equator expands. <laughs> your South Pole starts to melt. <laughs> Soon you'll look as bad as your anus. <laughs> Anyway, Earth Day was started 40 years ago by a senator in Wisconsin named Gaylord Nelson. <laughs> I wonder if he was in that softball league. <laughs> anyway, to celebrate Earth Day, I actually rode my bicycle to work today. Sadly, though, on the way, I ran over a family of baby seals. <laughs> Which is, I, I, I was thinking, just as I was running over them on my bike, I'm thinking, what are the odds of this? <laughs> A family of babies? That's unusual. In L.A.? Anyway, Earth Day seems a, a great idea, but to be honest, I think it's, it's a little bit... It might not be enough. I mean, with the mess we've made of this planet since the Industrial Revolution, cleaning up the planet might take longer. Than, we might have to give it a whole weekend, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and it's very... Earth Day's very close to 420. Perhaps we should combine the two, you know. <laughs> plant something in the morning, smoke it in the evening. <laughs> take that? No, don't take that. Now, we can all do things to help the environment. One thing that I do is I don't leave the faucet running while I shave. That saves tons of water because it takes me, it takes me five minutes to shave my face, but almost an hour to do my legs. Uh, <laughs> If I don't shave these for a month, I look like Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> the half man, half horse from the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. God. Guys are stupid. You don't, even know, you don't even know who Mr. Tumnus is. I hate you! You better put an X next to Mr. Tumnus. <laughs> Check, please. Yeah, all right. Shut up. Anyway, 
I, I'm go now I'm going to say something. <laughs> I'm going to say something. <laughs> uh, you're funny. No, I'm going to. I'm going to say something controversial now. This may anger a lot of viewers, but I'm going to say it. I like the Earth. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Bring it on, haters. But I, I like the Earth. But I, I think the term Earth Day might not be helping. It's too kind of overwhelming. You lose sight. Of the, it's like, oh, I can't do anything because you think you're, you're too small and you can't save the Earth. People should concentrate in their own little area. It should be regionalized. So you should call the day the air in Denver is crappy today or <laughs> L.A. is overrun with Kardashians Day today. <laughs> Another problem with the Earth Day is that it causes one of the worst type of pollution that's known which is celebrities telling you how to live. <laughs> but Craig, isn't that what you're doing right now? Shut up, hobos! No! I am not, nor have I ever been, a celebrity. <laughs> and I'm not telling you how to live. There. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, Jeff. Sometimes he speaks so high, only I can hear him. And only I can hear him and dogs. Dogs are like... Was that a skeleton talking? Do you remember on Earth Day, I think it was Earth Day a couple of years ago, when Cheryl Crow was telling people that she can save the environment by, you know, recycling toilet paper. Then uh, she said she never uses more than one square. And I'm like... That's why I keep the hand sanitizer at my desk. So it doesn't look obvious when Cheryl Crow is on. <laughs> anyway, don't, uh, don't mention that if you run into her. <laughs> Just shake her hand and keep going. <laughs> well, what, you were trying to book Cheryl Crow and now you're all sad because she won't. Because she'll come. Just wash your hand first. <laughs> or wear a glove. <laughs> Two gloves, just to be on the safe side. Well, what, we have to do a commercial break? All right. Ah. <laughs> commercial break time, Jeff. Oh, yeah, really? Hang on, I'll translate. <laughs> Isn't this the first day of the handing in your old appliances for a dollar's day? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're out of here, mister. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. It's time for Gardening Tips with Willie Nelson. And no matter how hard you try, sometimes a plant just doesn't make it. And it's perfectly okay to pull it out by the roots and start over. Like Willie says, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. <laughs> That's Kenny Rogers, dummy. <laughs> I'm very high right now. <laughs> Welcome back. I was doing that little thing there, you know, that uh, if you're a late-night talk show host, they, they teach you that when you go to late-night talk show host college. Do that little drum on the desk to make you look a little more human. <laughs> I'm just like you. I'm not a weird loner. <laughs> Please identify with me. I'm just a regular guy. I'm not some kind of crazed sociopath. <laughs> I am. Hey, do you know what with the global warming? You know what annoys me about global warming is the people that say there's no global warming. I'm like, shut up, people who say that. <laughs> I mean, I am not a scientist, I admit, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's not meant to be blue all the time. <laughs> Does anyone even buy this? I can have that anymore. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy like you. I'm just happen to be in this building with windows that are looking outside to a town that doesn't exist. <laughs> I have a friend who's not really my friend. We hate each other, actually, but we pretend to like each other because it's a late night talk show. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
like guys in the front room like, no applesauce. What the hell? <laughs> no applesauce? What? How the hell am I? This chicken is too dry without applesauce. Check, please. <laughs> a lot of people have been saying to me, Craig, they say, yeah, Jeff Peterson's sounding a little bit, um, Sulu-ish. Sulu-ish. Sulu, Sulu, like, it's a little bit like George Takai or Taki. Takai. What is it? Takai. Takai, yeah. I remember he was here and I said it the wrong way because that was something when I did that. <laughs> I had to do my little, come on, George, calm down. Anyway, he sounds a bit like George Takai, but it's not George Takai doing that voice. That's a real, genuine voice from a robot. <laughs> right? Oh, God, here we go again. Look, he's, he's, have you got your robot laryngitis again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I feel... Maybe you should go. Take a sick day, Jeff. Go to the garage. <laughs> yeah, look, he's... Poor soul, he's lost it. He's getting more and more crap. Soon... He'll take over. <laughs> oh. so wait, isn't that adorable how la la. this show is? <laughs> I mean, really, think of it. Where else on television can you see people, many of them, you know, in the audience, people who work around here, me? No one gives a crap. <laughs> But doesn't that take the pressure off you a little bit? Doesn't that say, you know, this is just like where I work? <laughs> I'm not a weird loner. <laughs> Time for a commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Do the jingle first, though. Do that. Twitter. Tweets will set you free. Try Sarah Twitter. Tweet the night with me. Check the tweets. And also email. And also emails. All right. This is, a, this is a Twitter from uh, Emma in Cincinnati. It's a tweet. I mean, it's a Twittery tweet. Uh, there's Emma there anyway. Lovely girl, big long neck. And <laughs> she says, uh, Craig, my mom is obsessed about my grades, more obsessed about my grades than I am. How can I make her relax? Well, first of all, you offer to make her a hot beverage. <laughs> then you go into the kitchen and you make her a hot beverage while she's unsuspectingly sitting in the other room. And into the hot beverage, slip something legal. <laughs> oh, she'll relax. And you'll go to jail. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know how you could get your mother to relax about your grades? Get good ones. How's that? Yeah? All right. That's right. That's right, young people. Don't come to me looking for solace. <laughs> All right, this is an email from Anthony in Oceanside in New York. Um, it says, Hi, Craig, my mom just turned 45, and I want to know where you... And I want to know where you got the lighting in the studio so I could put it in her bathroom to make her happy. Yeah, kick a man while he's down, why don't you? <laughs> All right, this is from a Reese in Dixon, Oklahoma. Dixon, Oklahoma? I've never been there. <laughs> Reese, uh, I wonder if it's Reese Witherspoon. That's the only, the only Reese I've ever heard of. I didn't know there was two Reese's. It, uh, it's quite, it's, you don't know if it's a boy or a girl's name. I mean, you do with Reese Witherspoon, obviously. You don't look at Reese Witherspoon and go, is that a dude? You don't. <laughs> 
Because she's adorable. I mean, not that dudes can't be adorable. Look, I don't want to get into all of that. All I'm saying is that I don't, you know, sometimes there's guys called Reese, like Reese Williams. <laughs> he was a rugby player for Wales in the 1970s. <laughs> Are you sure I'm lying? <laughs> Off you go to your little computer friend and find out that. <laughs> Was he? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> or not. Uh, one of these. Anyway, Reese in Dixon, Oklahoma says, Craig, I'm in high school and visiting colleges. What activities should I be involved in? What would you do? <laughs> <laughs> Dropped out of high school when I was 16. I don't even understand the question. <laughs> this is from Nelson in Tucson. I wonder if it's Admiral Nelson who led the British Navy in the naval war against Napoleon in the 19th century. <laughs> Off you go to the computer! <laughs> yes, he died in the Battle of Trafalgar, actually, Lord Nelson. And as he, he had a friend called uh, Hardy, uh, Oliver Hardy, who later became famous uh, in silent movies and then in early talkies. Uh, he would do this with his tie. Hmm? Hmm? Mm. And, but but the, uh, the Hardy was there and Nelson got shot during the Battle of Trafalgar and he went, ah, uh, which is fair. I mean, if you got shot, if you went, ah, like that, no one's going to go, well, that's an inappropriate reaction. <laughs> they would go, yeah, I, I can see where, why is why you would do that. He'd been shot and he was mortally wounded, which means he was dying. I know this is a very sad tale. I can't believe I'm telling it. I'm just like you. But he was... <laughs> He was dying, and, and he said, he came over, and Hardy was his little friend, and he said, kiss me, Hardy. <laughs> Apparently, he'd fancied him all along, but then died before they could, you know, get into a softball league together. <laughs> all right, we have to take a break. We'll be right back, over here. Expensive show where everything's really shiny. <laughs> I said the opposite of what was true. <laughs> Which means I lied. My first guest tonight is a very big actor, and he's in a movie called The Losers. Which I don't know what it's about. I think it's a movie about uh, late night talk show hosts. <laughs> no, there's karate in it and everything. Karate and kung fu. Karate and kung fu for the first time on the screen <laughs> it's in theaters now take a look at this i have a business proposition for you clay oops that was your accident oops <laughs> <laughs> about my first marriage. <laughs> Please welcome Jeffrey Dean Morgan, everyone. Jeffrey. Thank well, you. Listen, um, happy birthday. It's your birthday today. Happy me birthday. And, me and Earth. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I'd like to I'd like to sing you the happy birthday song, but it costs a lot of money to sing that on TV because it's owned, it? yeah, it's owned by an old lady who charges everybody like But it's my birthday. And All right, you then. probably should I'll sing give you the it a CBS go. happy birthday song. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Thank you. CBS gift. Hey, hey, hey. What's that? You got your own snake mug? It's my super cool snake mug. Oh, yeah? Where'd yeah. you get that? Did we give you that? I gotta tell you, no, you didn't. I tried to steal yours last time. I went to New Mexico to the Rattlesnake Museum. It's like good where, Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they wouldn't give me your mug. They, they were wouldn't? like, they knew what I was up to. They were like, ah. yeah. They were like, no, you can have a little one. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of small. Yeah, it's small. Yeah. 
But it's getting sneaked. Look, it's it's got actual snake, snake head. inside. Yeah, it? yeah. Mine is empty inside. I would show you, but it's full. Yeah, but, but there's inside a snake there's head. a snakehead coming up. It's good. It's yeah. gonna, it implies. It, you know what it's like? It it's like a prize. popcorn trick in the cinema. In a box. <laughs> it's a song. Yeah, yeah, it's a song. Is it? Oh, yeah, well... well that, that, that little that's old lady yeah, charges yeah, yeah. you a lot of money because she owns that one, too. <laughs> How are you? Happy? What are you doing for your birthday? You uh, weren't here on your birthday. I've been in this hellacious lawsuit, man, and really, I just wanted to play softball. Oh, <laughs> no. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I was hearing about this. Apparently, yeah. you're not gay enough. I, I know, and I was skipping on... I just... Otherwise, well, everything's great. Well, because, well, yeah, it's, uh, but what are you going to do? Are you having a party? Are you going to, go? I mean, go out or well, go nuts? It, this is it. You're kind of my party. You're my present. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah. My mom. This is my mom right there hiding from the... No way! Yeah, is that your mom? mom? That's my mom, front row. And, and my oh, well, no, no, I don't... Wait, where? Right there. Right there, wave, you. mom. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right, right. yeah. So she's down. Well done! You yeah. must have been very, very, very young. Yeah. Very young indeed right? when you had young masters. She's a, she's a good looking mom. Um, yeah, she, uh, she came to. I know. Weird, that was a little, right? yeah, that was a little weird. Yeah, I, 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 you, you saw me judging you. A I did, bit. I yeah. did. I, I, I felt the judge. Yeah, yeah, it was big. But was you know, like, as far as moms go, I'm pretty proud of her. This is what I'm trying well, to say. She's only one you've got. You should love your mom. Thank if you don't you. love your mom, go and join Al Qaeda. I That's what I say. <laughs> I love my mom. So she's down, and, and uh, you know, we'll go home and, and uh, by the time's the show over, like two in the morning. So yeah, we're gonna yeah, have it's going to be late. It's yeah, going to be yeah, a yeah, late yeah. barbecue tonight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, where were you born then? What? Seattle. Uh, Seattle? A little town I lived in called Kirkland, Washington, uh -huh. uh, just across the lake from Seattle. A, a good little place. Yeah? Yeah. You sound a little bit like Garrison Keillor when you're talking like that. <laughs> I was born in a quiet little town. It was a quiet yeah, little town. Yeah, no, that's I nice. grew up with uh, Jeff Peterson. It's hey. sexy time. <laughs> He's on now. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Larry and Once he gets started, away. you can't shut him up. He goes and goes, are you interested in the robot skeleton? I'm thinking of selling him. <laughs> look out. <laughs> You look out, you, you skinny know, he, bastard. I can never know what you're going to talk or not. I think uh, he can stay here. He might talk too much for my life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, tell me about Was that Zoe Saldana you're fighting? It that? was Zoe Saldana. She well, is I'd, awesome. I'd take a beat to fight yeah, her. Yeah, that's kind of what, that's what I said. I'm like, I, I'm like, you can beat me up. I mean, see, when she was in, she was in the Alien movie, the Avatar. Avatar, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. I, and I watched that, and, like, she's blue and covered and, and still stuff. And I'm like, oh, Yeah, man. I... <laughs> I, kinda, I, would, I would like, I'd completely go alien for her. I thought the same yeah. thing, yeah. It's like, you could be a little, uh, who's Sulu's uh, captain? Captain Kirk, Kirk yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, liked, hey. He slipped with aliens. Points yeah. off for, oh, he did? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. right, Captain Kirk. He slept with, he, like, the green minute, people all the time. Yeah, the minute he got to a planet, he's like, where's the chicks at? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> they could be blue and green. And, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I, I kind of felt Captain Kirk watching Avatar. Well, I, I did, like, yeah. I, I did you like the Avatar? I did. Yeah, I liked it, I did, I did. The DVD's out today. That's what I hear. Yeah. Earth Day. Yeah. Jack Nicholson's birthday. Yeah. It's like you it's like you know everything that's of value to uh, me. It's weird. <laughs> you, wait, 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 what am I saying? Your birthday? Jack Nicholson's birthday? Perhaps kind of double party. You could both go to Applebee's or something and have a lovely evening. Maybe I'll have him come over to the barbecue tonight. Yeah, that's right. I wonder what Jack Nicholson does on his birthday. I'm sure it's cooler than my yeah. barbecue. I've, I, I, I mean, have a feeling. He's probably got Zoe Zaldana over at his that's house exactly right now. That's yeah. exactly painted blue. Yeah. Oh, man. You see? <laughs> Damn. But I, went, I went to see the Avatar. I'm Because I'm, I'm, I'm watching it, and she's painted blue. And I'm with children. are in the theater, and I'm, the thoughts I'm thinking. <laughs> I wasn't proud of myself. It's a little creepy. <laughs> it's a little creepy, but honest. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. that's me. <laughs> I'm In just like you. <laughs> I'm not a creepy loner. Yeah. So, uh, what the, the losers, it's about, what's it about then? Oh, Black Ops, Betrayed, Let's Get Revenge. Nice. Oh, it's way better than how I just made it sound, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's a really fun movie. It's a it's a popcorn movie, man. Just popcorn go. on your lap, like you were saying. Yeah. You can come sit next to me. I'll anytime. just help myself. Yeah. <laughs> so why were you in Albuquerque? What were you doing out there? Well, remember I did. I, we talked about this last time that Alfred Hitchcock movie when we did. Remember we the did our scared yeah, of the yeah, birds. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. We a, acted it out. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was frightening. It was terribly frightening. Yeah, it was, um, it was like did, it was like there was a bird in the studio. 
Don't do it again. No, I'm not going to. Um, but I've been practicing just in case. Right. Uh, no, I did a movie called The Resident uh, with Hilary Swank. Uh, right. Kind of a fatal attraction meets the birds. It's like, wow, guy falls in love with... Yeah. He's married, but he loves a bird? Huh? Ch chases after the cockatoo, yeah. Right. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that one goes. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Well, good luck with that one. Thank anyway, you. So you're in Albuquerque, and you went to the Rattlesnake Museum. I go to the Rattlesnake you, Museum. Did you, did you ride your motorbike over there? I didn't. I didn't ride my motorbike. What, in New Mexico? That's the perfect it's state like for the, riding you're, motorbikes. You're absolutely right. No, I drove because I had to take all the dogs. No, I thought I only had one dog, but I had to drive the dog there, and she doesn't really ride the motorcycle that far. What kind of a dog is this? I had no idea you had a dog. I've got two. I've got uh, Bizu. She's a Rottweiler mix, and then I've got, uh, I adopted a dog while we were shooting the losers in uh, in Puerto Rico named Bandito, or now we call him just Bandit because he's, he's American. Back in America, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, people, and, and people might not understand yeah. Bandito. Yeah. What does Bandito <laughs> mean, Jeffrey? I think it was more for my benefit, yeah. but, but uh, he doesn't understand English yet, so he doesn't really listen real well. He's, he's Puerto Rican, jungle dog. Yeah, I, th I think uh, Jeff uh, might be uh, Puerto Rican or something. He doesn't understand English at all. Well, I thought he was... Which means your time is up. Ah, shoot. I know. But it's your birthday, though. You can go off and enjoy I it. I have now. to go party. I have yeah. to grab my mom and go... <laughs> He's grown on me, that bony bastard. All right. Um, my, uh, my next guest on the big Thursday night show is, uh, is on a show which is on Wednesdays on ABC. It's the, it was on last night. I never miss it. <laughs> it's called Cougar Town. Take a look at this. Cute for an ugly person. Ugly for a cute person. Hot in Ireland. I do not understand the rules of this game. <gasps> Jules, isn't that Travis's ex-girlfriend? little whore in her pink cardigan. Back me up, Lori. Yeah, I bet she plays tennis and writes thank you notes. What, this one's hard? She's so cute. She can't just break my son's heart and then have coffee. I'm gonna go talk to her. Whoa, 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 Jules. As my uncle dad always told me, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Busy Phillips, everybody. Busy Phillips. How are you? You know, I'm good. You look sensational with that Thank lovely you. top you've got on there. What is Thanks. that material? May I ask? Yeah, oh, sure, sure. You can touch it. I don't know. No, no, I just, I touched the edge of it. I didn't want to be predatory and touch the front, so I went for the side. Yeah. I went for a non-erogenous touch. Yeah, I'm, I was, I'm someone's mother. You can't, you know, I'm someone's get... husband. I was touching your sleeve. <laughs> sure what it is. I don't know. Some sort of crepey linen-y Crepey type. linen. I don't know. It's nice. Thanks. I like it a lot. Now, tell me about the Cougar Town show. Is that a, a town, a real town, Cougar Town? Yeah, no, it's not. Um, but it's it's a it's a show on ABC starring Courtney Cox. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you're in it. And I'm in it. And uh, do cougars go nuts and attack people? <laughs> you know what cougars are, obviously. They're the older ladies that are dating the younger guys. It's right. Sort of a, it's, it's sort of in the zeitgeist right now. Like, there's lots so of... So who's the cougars, then? Well, I, I, apparently, Courtney... I, originally, when the show first started, <laughs> she was sort of the cougar. But now the show's kind of evolved, and now it's more like a dysfunctional family show comedy. Yeah. It's not so Cougar much about... Cougar Town's a snappier title, so, though, isn't it? But yeah, you know what? Yeah. They, they, um, this is no joke. They're, they're actually talking about changing the title for next season. That's dumb. It's cr I mean, it's crazy. It, it's like as if sometimes executives in television are... Tootsie Fruitsie. Stupid. <laughs> isn't it? It's almost as if they are. Only... None of them at CBS, by the way. Uh, but... 
But it's almost, you, you can't, it's a head show. You can't change the name of the show. I guess it's happened a few times in history. Yeah, Seinfeld and Chronicles turned into Seinfeld. Yeah, before it became Seinfeld, right. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, No, this is true. These are all good points that I'm going to bring back to. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Will they include you in their, their decision? Probably not, although there is a contest among the cast and crew. Um, there's an email address set up to come up with the best title. And so far, the one I've come up with is Modern Friends. And I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I'd watch that, Modern Friends. That's good, that. Huh? Yeah. Updated Friends with cougars in it. Or, and Courtney Cox. Yeah, yeah. You could have, you could have real cougars coming in. Real Do you know cougars. they're going to change the name of this show? Re what's it going to be? Skeleton Robot oh. Hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. He is terrifying. Yeah, you should see him once he gets riled up. And now, I remember when Joel McHale was on, mm -hmm. he was talking about the robot hadn't arrived yet, and he was talking about how the robot was going to have gleaming eyes and only be able to raise one arm. Can he raise both arms or just one? Can he raise any arms? Uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a little tired. He was working out today. And, uh, yeah, you're right. You're a, little, you're a little tired, right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's only talking now. He's, he's, I mean, it's a bit like a pet. You uh -huh. know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, you know... Just make them perform every right. time people come around. Right. That's row, like I get... row, row. Yeah, exactly. Row, 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 yeah, he's moving his arm. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Good, you, I got a little arm action. Just... Yeah, that's, that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Now, you and I apparently worked together. We did. In Vancouver. Yes. You don't remember, do you? Well, here's the thing. Mm. I don't know if we actually worked together. I think we had one scene where, because we did this show called Life As We Know It. Mm. Many, it was before you were doing this. So I actually got this job while I was doing that show. Okay. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you played Kelly Osborne's dad? Yeah, that's right. I don't know why they thought of that, because <laughs> who would have thought a burnt out ex rocker would have been able to help Kelly Osborne in the part of. <laughs> I, I love it. I saw it. you eyeing it. I, I saw did. you eyeing my cup. It reminds me of it reminds me of my childhood in Arizona. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did All you the go, like kitschy, weird did, did things. Did you did you ever see snakes when you were growing up? Now, sure. Really? Are yeah. you frightened of them? No, not particularly. Have I you think ever you just one? stay away from them. Uh, I've never caught a snake. Now, have you ever caught a snake? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What happened? Well, it's part of the becoming a man uh, ceremony. Uh, sure. In Scotland, yeah. they say leave here and go and bring back a snake. <laughs> and it's always Gerard Butler that says it to you. He so comes around weird. to your house. So he weird. comes to your house and he says, Craig, and you go, what, Jerry? And he goes, leave here and go and bring back a snake. And you, you do. Well, no, I, I left and I haven't been back yet because <laughs> I haven't found a snake. And you became an American yeah, citizen. Yeah, I, I, I came over here to America, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you like Arizona? I like Arizona. <laughs> Yeah, I like what Arizona. Part of Arizona for I grew friend? up in Scottsdale. Oh, my friend Randy is from Scottsdale. Well, Do you know Randy? I probably. I don't know. No, no you don't. probably not. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Hey, you want to do an awkward pause with sure. me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can go for a long time with the Auburn Park. You know why? Why? Third marriage. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Bye bye. Okay, busy fellas, everybody. I talked too long tonight, everybody. I don't have time for idle chit-chat. We've got to get out of here. We've got to get moving on. On with the next uh, thing on the great CBS <laughs> network, CBS Cares. What's coming up next in your region? Stay tuned and find out. <laughs> <laughs> or go to bed. I'd go to bed. Good night, everybody. Good night.